You guys know me. When my life gets too hectic, all I want to do is run off to a day at the spa. The seaweed wraps, the hot stone massages, the herbal vagina steams, nothing rejuvenates me more. But when my life's just too hectic, I have a spa night, a fun and easy way to relax and unwind. So with my soon-to-be fiancé Corey spending yet another late night at his hedge fund, I'm declaring it spa night. And I'm ending the night by indulging in my favorite treat, cookie in a mug. This will make you put your apron on. Trust me, this will make you put your apron on. It's time. Now for the yum. Mmm. Unknown once said, learning to ignore things is one of the great paths to inner peace. And nothing helps me ignore the troubles of this world like a good cookie in a mug. I haven't done anything and already this place smells amazing. So let's dig into our ingredients. We have two tablespoons sugar, pinch salt, only use table, I'm using pink Himalayan, quarter teaspoon vanilla extract, three tablespoons flour, one egg yolk. Not the whole egg, just the egg yolk. It's so interesting. I was, I was talking to my phlebotomist the other day and she said essentially it's a little chicken. Like this is the thing that becomes chicken breast. Who knew? Now we're gonna separate the yolk from the unyolk. If some or all the egg gets in, not a big deal. Baking's not a science. And finally, we're gonna be using two tablespoons melted butter. Sidecar on butter. My Gam Gam Tina was a heck of a baker. Her secret was to mix everything with butter by hand. There are two things you can instantly tell the quality of just by wrapping your fingers around them, she used to say. It's a stick of butter and a man's jackhammer. Hashtag truth. Now this is when things start to get a little handsy, so I'm just gonna put my 2.4 carat diamond pre-engagement ring from my soon-to-be fiance, Cole. Now to mix. Maybe <laughs> use just one hand. <laughs> oh, you guys, spa nights are just so fun and easy. A little oatmeal scrub. Oh, you guys, I'm such an airhead. I totally forgot to add my favorite ingredient. You guys know me, I just can't help but sass things up a bit. And one of my favorite sassers is... <laughs> Don't, please don't be too concerned with the overall ickiness. That's the whole thing about baking. You know, things are going to look gross until you bake them. So this looks good. So we're gonna move on to step two or maybe four, I'm not 100% sure right now, and um, add this bad boy to his final home before our tummies. I got this made for me and my Cory Boo on our nine day anniversary. Mm. Oh, you guys, I just wish you were here to smell the air. I became addicted to spa nights in college. Me, Christina K, Christina J. We used to take whatever wasn't nailed down in the dining hall to make our homemade wraps and scrubs. I swear, I owe this fresh looking face to four years of free mayo packets. Now, you guys, we are gonna be putting this in the microwave for just, wait for it, 45 seconds. Being with the girls back then, it was a lot of fun. And now we're, we're spread out all over the world. I'm up here with my soon-to-be fiance, Corey, who I just love. Waiting night after night, never sure if he'll come home or spend another night in the city. He just works so hard. I mean, and thanks to him, we have this great house that's in a great school district that's just waiting to be filled up with great kids. It's so sweet. We were talking on the phone the other night about where to go on our honeymoon. Corey just insisted it be the Cayman Islands. And I was just like, Corey, I just love tropical. Now for the yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, yum, a steak. 
Oh, the texture is moist and crunchy and moist. Mm. What a way to end a spa night. Cookie in a mug. Mm. <laughs> this will make you put your apron on. <laughs>